Well, hello everyone, welcome back for more Temtem. I'm glad all of you can join me for this swell day. Hey, so I'm gonna recant a little bit. I'm going to change up Swole and put Kaku in because several things. Um, Swally turns into or evolves into a Temtem with uh, wind and nature, and I kind of just want a nature-based Temtem. Kaku just has a really good stats. We got really lucky with our Kaku. And we have Clairvaux, we have Genki, and I think we actually missed a few tamers back on that climb. So I know we have, I said that we would take us around, or I would take us around Aerosola, but I do want to revisit a bit and uh, see if we can fight more tamers. One thing that I've noticed is, and I read this online as well, some uh, tamers are now made to be optional and that's why you'll see them like looking at uh, a map or distracted and not, you know, automatically attacking you. That's what happened last time. I think I think this is a tamer down here. I was, I was looking at this person in editing. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Fighting tamers is just a good opportunity to get good XP as well as monies. Good morning, how is Temtem catching going? Don't tell me, let's see them in action. Isabel. Isabel? Why is she named? And is she also signal? Also, have you noticed my hair is kind of like brownish? I wonder if that has to do a lot with like the lighting or something? Oh wait, she's uh, mental is weak against electric, so let's go ahead and switch her out for, let's say, Kaku. Let's put Kaku in there. Um, we have Genki as well, but this is not gonna turn out well. We're gonna use Scale. So I think this is gonna be our team to combat uh, the electric types. We're gonna beat them up the old-fashioned way. So yeah, we're gonna get shocked, but we're gonna hang true. I believe we can poison is pretty good here. We can use Urashal. And then we're gonna use Let's use it. I'm, I'm curious. Okay. Did a lot of damage, but yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't a weakness of any kind. Alright, it's uh, increasing its special attack, I think? Yes. I'm learning, folks. I'm learning. Uh, does Yurushal make it poisoned? I don't know. There's toxic spores. Synergy with a toxic ally poisons them. I understand. Okay. So I have a toxic ally, then they would get poisoned with this ability. I don't have a toxic ally, so it's just doing damage. Let's go ahead and hit with toxic spores. Uh, we'll use it for that Genki. Then we'll use Tail Strike for this Genki just to clean it all up. Boom. Scale has like, is so powerful. She is yoked. Like, she benches. Yeah, Kaku's getting hurt, but we think Kaku's gonna hang in there, aren't we? Right there, Kaku. Kaku can take another hit. Kaku's gone, be fine. Let's go ahead and use Urashal here. And then... No, 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 no. We're gonna use Toxic Spores. Then we're gonna go ahead and use... Held Anger. For big play, big moves. Wow. Incredible. I just love its animation. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna have... Uh, scale just hang out and chill Or you know what no we can actually switch out scale and then put in Genki. That's right So we're gonna use this move to go here Kaku still participating in the action. We're gonna use Genki now and have Genki go to town Genki is just gonna use DC beam uh, to end this. Ooh, you know what? I might... I'm gonna bench Kaku. I'm gonna bench her. Yeah, as much as Poison is doing the... is doing the work, um, I don't want to risk her having going down. Uh, it's a pride thing. <laughs> it's simply a pride thing. I mean, who go, who's faster in this, I wonder? Is there like a, a turn order that we can see? You know what? Let's just try it. Yurashal, DC Beam. Who goes first? Okay, we have Genki going first with DC Beam. All right, well, there we go. GG, Isabel. Nice. Is there a way to actually have that level up screen stay on longer? I like to sort of look at it and see how well they've grown. Can't find the option on that in the settings. Anyway, Isabel, I guess I'm a better catcher than a tamer. That's not true. That's not true when you don't know that for sure, okay? We just had one battle and I got lucky. Also, I can share some tips over some coffee later. <laughs> no, you can't. Don't even try. 
Anyways, 101 Pan Sun. So I'm just going to give the cliffs one more look over just to see if I've missed any tamers to battle. If there's not any more tamers left, I will see back in Arisola. If not, then we will check back in in a second. Is this person a tamer? Yes, they are. Well, you look at that. There you are, stranger. Uh, throw down. Let's discuss tetamology instead. Tem Tem up. Get ready to lose. Oh, wow. Aziza. Wow, she's also named. What is the difference between a name tamer and a tamer who is just, you know, described in adjectives? <laughs> At any rate, uh, we're not totally ready. We need to heal our Temtems, but we have to deal with this. So we have two waters, and I think we can hit Saipat here and then leave uh, Kalazu to Genki. Great, great, great. I just want to get uh, Clairvaux to 20, and then we can bench her for the rest of the uh, the rest of the grind, I guess you could say. There we go, Genki's leveling up swell. Today's not my brightest day. Sure, 57. 57. Alright, let's see if there's anybody else. And we are back to Aerosola. Just gonna go ahead and heal my Temtems, and then we can go ahead and explore around. So I really would like to start buying uh, cosmetics and stuff, but I hear they're around like 90k <laughs> for like a shirt, which is absolutely outrageous. But oh boy, what are you gonna do? Games like this that you know toad itself as an MMORPG often have like these really strange ways of trying to keep you playing the game by having really unrealistic expectations to make this thing super grindy. I'm probably going to be wearing this jacket forever. Uh, Liliana, hey, let's play Temtem. Are you too young for battles? You're too young for battles. I'm saying it as a statement. Uh, where are your Temtem? Sorry, I can't. Uh, where are your Temtem? Dad says I'm too young for Temtem, so I pretend to be a Temtem. You can play with me, but only if you know your Temtem very well. Uh, look, now I'm a Totoro. Can you see me? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, imagination is key here. Imagination is key. You're so fiery. You're so fast. You're so tall. Yes, look, I can see over everyone's head. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, I know this one. Yes, you have to guess right for uh, the poke for the Pokemon. I feel like saying Pokemon in this game is a bad word. <laughs> you have to guess right for the Temtem, and then she will give you I don't know another revive like the other like the other kid did. A Leoli. Now flit, flit, flit. Gasp so fast. You're so tall. Okay. <laughs> wow, so powerful. I'm gonna say fast. Yes, ooh, I'm flying very fast. I can see the other side of the river from here. Nobody can catch me. This kid needs help. And now you. Look, I'm a Kalazu. Watch me, I'm transforming. Now I'm a Saku. Let's say I'm a Kalazu. Ooh, I'm soaring on my mighty wings. Yeah, don't octopuses have wings? Beware my fiery- watch out for my tentacles. Okay, now I have a sword and we are fencing. Defend yourself, Saipat. I'll beat you with my katana. I'm kidding. I'll beat you with my tanto? I'll beat you with my sai. You know, I actually don't know what that weapon is called. Is it a sai? I mean, it makes sense. It's called a sai pat. So, okay. Beat you with sai. Oh no, you won, sai pat. Haha, that was fun. You're pretty cool for a grown-up. Here, you can have my kiwi. I don't like them. What's a kiwi? Energetic kiwi. A delicious omnisian ki kiwis. Furry little bites. Uh, of sweetness restores 25% stamina. Cool, thanks. Appreciate you, appreciate ya. Just logging him into the quests. Alright, Dojo Dormant. Oh, it's the dojo. Sorry, Tamer, but the dojo is closed. You cannot come in. I'm here to speak with Sophia. Uh, Sophia has wronged me, and uh, I just need her surfboard, really. She's not in, uh, that's why we're closed until she comes back. It's not unusual for her to take some time off, but not that long. Alright, I'm assuming she's dead, right? I'll find her. When will she be back? Where is Sophia? Oh, I'll find her. Where is she? Would you do that, fellow tamer? Thank you. I'd feel so much better if someone took care of this. Uh, yeah, where can I find her? She's supposed to be surfing near the Windward Fort. If you have a surfboard, it's easy to find. Just get in the water, and I don't have the surfboard, pal. Is there another route? Then it's the scenic route for you. Leave Arisola and go north. You'll have to go through the Gifted Bridges. It's a long way, but there's no getting lost. Windward Fort is right at the end of it. Alrighty, I mean, if you're the, you know, if, she, if you're her apprentices, I imagine, okay, whoa, what's happening? 
You haven't found her yet? Get on it, January. Okay, chill, guy. I was just walking around. I'm just shocked that she has so many, you know, dojo peeps. And none of you. You found a Pichico. Damaged. Oh, these are the sticker things. Uh, this one's badly damaged, showing the scars of time. That's so cool. Yeah, she has a bunch of dodo... Dodo? <laughs> yeah, she has a bunch of dodo apprentices, and they're not helping her a lick. She could die out there, this Sophia. Okay, what are these people doing? Uh, we're waiting for our tour guide. Where is he? Was supposed to be here already? Oh, we're looking for a tour guide. Okay, we're all looking for a tour guide. Tour guide. Is this a tour guide right here? Tour operator. I'm sorry, but the tour hasn't started yet. Please await at the meeting point and we'll guide you there very soon. I'm the guide, January. <laughs> I'm January, not a tourist. Oops, sorry, I'm so stressed out with this thing. The guide was supposed to be here already and they're getting angsty. Can I help? I'm just that guy, right? Always volunteering help, always trying to be charitable when I can because I grew up a bully. I was mean to Max. I bullied Max and now look what Max turned into. So, for as per my redemption story, I am trying to learn, uh, to, trying to be charitable trying to learn humility, trying to do my best to help people, even if I have no idea what I'm doing, like being a tour guide to a town I've never been in, I'll say, let me at it, give me a brochure, give me a couple of pointers, I'll take it from here. Can I help? I don't know, maybe you can. Oh, send Kalazu. So, how well do you know Denez? Think you can explain the main sites and answer their questions? I could try. Yes, thank you. The group is over there. Just go over and give them a tour. I don't know. Improvise pretty please. Okay, so we're in Denez. Where are we? I don't know. Is it... Okay, we're in the Mare Nostrum. And this is Denez? I wish the towns had, like, names. Oh, they do. Okay. So Denez is the continent, I would imagine. Or the island, I should say. Because it is an archipelago. Denez is the island. But what's Mare Nostrum? Is that, like... The country? <laughs> so, okay, we're in Denez Island. There's Braca de Mar. There, okay, oh, I see. Prasinian. Okay, it's a dart. We're in Aerosola. <laughs> it's so funny. Longest time I thought everything was Denez. In fact, I might have to rename an episode. Before we uh, speak to them, let's just walk around these houses, intrude. I'll check back in with you if I find something interesting. I just want to get a hang of where we are and, uh, you know, if they ask me questions as a tour guide. Gotta know where I'm going. Good morning, visitor. Yes, first time. I envy you then. I wish I could see Arisola through your eyes for the first time. So many lovely details take for granted that I can't enjoy anymore. Okay, well, tell me about them. These homes are really nice. I just like the way they look. They look so cozy and fun. Okay, so I checked about, um, I think all the houses here to the south. Haven't really found anything. Kind of a couple of funny dialogue choices. But it's all just, you know, talking to folks. Wait, what did you just say? Are you looking for adventure on the Amnesian Flywalk? I'd like a ticket, please. You're in luck, dear traveler. I have some tickets for around the archipelago cruise for about 50k, but it's a bargain at any price, really. I'll stick to walking, thanks, pal. Um, I walk when you can soar. Adventure is calling. I don't got the, I don't got the dough. Don't have the dough. So a lot of these houses are pretty much empty. Now, where in Solario has that man gone? Oh, hello. Welcome, dear guest. What can I do for you on this fine Friday? What's wrong? Well, be honest, I sent Starvos to check out some new furniture for the lobby, and he's not back yet. It's been ages. Oh, this is for Malachite. As always, he's left me here to take care of business all by myself, with that huge group of tourists checking in at any moment. Send Kalazu. Uh, what do you do? I'm Luca, co-owner of Arisola Palace Hotel, this hotel here. We provide the best service in town to many happy visitors. Would you like a room with Thessalian views or a suitable overlooking... Uh, sorry, I, I have stuff to do. I'll check back later when I give a damn. I'm kidding. Let's see what's in here. Wow, a uh, lot bigger than what it looked like um, from the outside. <laughs> Alrighty, let's check the inside. It is massive. What in the world? Uh, hotel receptionists. Uh, I'm afraid we're completely full. Yes, okay. The gentleman doesn't have any baggage. Oh good, I mean, it's fine. Relax, I'm not a guest. Overworked, are we? Send a to the high season is always hectic. Uh, where's my room? Well, I'm so sorry. If the gentleman can just wait here, I'll check in with the reception and I'm just... I'm out of here. I'm just messing with you, bro. That's not funny. I nearly had a heart attack. Now give me my room. Kidding. I'll check out all these. Wow. He is 10 and a half. All right. So we're going to go up here. 
What is you? Hello, sir. What would you have today? Ooh. Classic lasagna, please. Excellent choice. The darling of the southern denizen cuisine. Coming up, just one minute. Can I have your room number? Uh, it's gonna be 69. Thank you. Just pick a table and... Wait, there's no room or... <laughs> there's no room with that number. You trying to swindle me, kid? Was worth a try. Oh, you rascal. This is an interesting place. It's just, it feels empty, you know? I think places like this can feel really empty. What is that? Oh, it doesn't actually scan the Temtem? All right, so this was an interesting place. Uh, talked a lot to just random folks. Uh, not much here, really. Not much here. There's some interesting lore bits, I guess you could say, but it's all relatively... Iffy? <laughs> At any rate, um, it was interesting. Definitely interesting. Uh, everyone just talked about their tour, about this place, and how it looks so nice and, and, you know, picturesque and beautiful. Basically surmising every bit of dialogue in that hotel. Okay, what did this person say? Longshoreman. Hi, stranger. New to Aerosola by the looks of you. Come to see the big city? Sit with me for a minute. I'm in between shifts. What do you do? How do I get an airship? Uh, I've got to be somewhere. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Why, I work at the docks at the terminal, loading and unloading airships. Each Kui coming in and from Amnesia, each barrel of olives going out of Denez passes through my hands at some point. We have to be fast, you know. Aerosola has only two decks, so every time an airship docks, we have to move the cargo in and out as quickly as we can, least the next one gets delayed. It's a tough job, but necessary and honest. Pays okay, and we'll, and you get to see all sorts of funny-looking people, such as yourself. Hey, hey funny looking. Clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. Leave me alone. I've got somewhere to be. Okay, I can't get lore dumped right now. Can't be front-loaded with all your stuff. Oh, Rouge and Cole Cosmetics. Welcome to Coles. <laughs> Um, okay, this is, this, is, this is a place I think we can see stuff and see how overpriced everything is. Oh, this is the tint to change different colors. Oh my god, what the heck? This is for dying clothes? Ugh, 22... What, I mean, what's... Why even put it 22,999? Why not just 3k? 30k? Is it just not possible? Sunglasses. Oh, this is 400. Oh boy. We just have a headband for 2k. Oh my god. Seven near. Oh my god. 6,409. Why not 65? 14,000. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. And look at this tacky shirt vest thing. Okay, so there isn't much here except for crushed hopes and dreams and very expensive items. So we will be on our way. <laughs> Clearly too rich for my blood. Building here with a... Looks like to be an exclamation point. Let's have a look at it. Uh, Lara. Hey, do you like comic books? Of course. Then you know what I'm talking about. I, I just got here, so I wouldn't know. But if you are looking to date... Shut up! I beg your pardon. I said shut up! As in close your mouth and stop talking. The last issue of Indaria's Quest is coming out this week. Oh, um, yeah, sure. No way, it's it's this week? Yeah, did you read the last issue? Uh, yeah, give me a second to where I would turn around and Google it. The last story was a total cliffhanger, and I can't wait to see how she escapes from King Aubrey and clears her name with the murder of Selisu. Uh, when is it coming out? Where do I get it? Dude, that's the problem. It's going to be published in some Panku first. It's going to be months until we can get it here in Denez. Maybe I can get one for you, uh, because I have feelings for you. I know we just met, but I can picture our entire life together. Oh, would you do that? Yeah, 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 sure. Um, totally. I love Andaria's quest. Huge fan. Gotta help. You know, it's just, just Elvin. It's just who I am, really. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm a role model. <laughs> <sighs> Can't win them all, guys. Can't win them all. You just made my day. I'll go to some Panku then. Wait, that's a long way, and it might be for nothing. I have a better plan. Oh, yeah, we just go on a date and go together? Is that what your plan is? I know a bookshop where you might find it. Look at the Tossiant books in Uruhu? Huruhu? Huruhu? I know it sounds counterintuitive, but everyone and their Paraharo is going to some Panku to get their comics. They're often sold out. Makes sense, makes sense. 
Tosin Books is more likely to have some left. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Please do, and thanks again. You're a true Enderia fan. So exclamation points on the map alert you to tasks and quests that you can possibly pick up. Ooh, I didn't see this map. Okay, so Denez Mer Nordstrom. Denez Merstrom. Denez Mer Nostrum is the island. Okay, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. We're waiting for a tour guide. That's me. Hey, hey guys, the guide is finally here. Listen up. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to located atop Atlas Hill, Arizona. Arizona is the biggest city in Denez. Welcome to Arizona, capital of Denez. Is it the capital? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Arizona, capital of Denez. It was described for the first time by the ancient poet, uh, what was his name? F uh, it was from Zadar. Oh, no, Pasife of Terquesa. She wrote about its unique location halfway between water and wind. Fascinating, what a city. That majestic massive of red rock you can see towards the south on the way to Braca de Mar is called um, Thessalian Cliffs. It's not the coast, it's the rock, right? Yeah, it's called Thessalian Cliffs, obviously. They descend all the way to the shore of the Salaro River. Excuse me, just one question. What's on the other side of the river? That is, first off, gotta say, excellent question. And the answer is the town of Turquesa, because Zadar is where we are, and Crossrent is Turquesa. I know this, okay? You can't try to fool me. Just because I'm wearing jeans and a hoodie doesn't mean I'm not an actual tour guide. It's Turquesa, a quaint little town that boasts the ancient ravine, river ravine fellowship, the last of the sailor brotherhoods of old. Learn that from the guy on the bridge. Oh, one last question. What do you recommend we visit next? I'm really into history. Okay, um... The ruins of Windward Fort, because it's ruined, it's a fort, it's been a long time. Oh, castles, I love castles. We'll see if it has something on the one in Loc Adur. What? Anyways, enjoy the rest of your stay. Thanks for coming. I do take tips. Phew, I'm ready to go back to the hotel I'm beat. I wish we'd walked around, you know, that'd, be, that'd have been a cool quest if we could like walk around and stuff like that. Um, but there you go. Inform the operator of the success. You did it. Thank you so much. Now, just to herd them to the hotel and be done for the day. You've earned your rank insignia as a true and honorable tour guide. I know I just like spawned in like last week. How I know all this information is simply because of luck. Pure luck. In the process of elimination, we got an umbrella. Nice. Damage taken from water is reduced by- Whoa. Oh. Wear it proudly January. Gear items are special items that can be equipped on a Temtem. You can equip them by the Temtem details using LT and also from the backpack. Each piece of gear has a unique effect that changes certain aspects from your Temtem. The ones that have an effect in battle will show a sign when triggered. So I know we did a lot of talking for this episode, but we explored Aerosolo, we spoke to a lot of different NPCs, completed a quest, aced it, learned a lot about geography and history and the lore of this world. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know um, these things were a little short and we're not doing too much in a lot of these episodes, but by keeping them short, hopefully I can go ahead and release as many episodes as possible. So I hope you were able to enjoy this episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to share and show your support. I'd really appreciate that. And in the next episode, we will go ahead and rescue Sophia from wherever, if she needs rescuing. Maybe she doesn't need rescuing. Maybe we need the rescuing. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.